Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into the top six fan channels that bring you passion, drama and banter straight to your screens. From match reactions to heated debates, these channels have it all. Before you do go any further, let me just let you know that a like would be extraordinary to the channel. If you're a football fan of any fan channels, please smash the like button below. It really helps the algorithm. A subscription would be amazing, but I'll take a like for now. Let's get into it. First up, we're going to start with the Anfield agenda. Difficult to talk about this one as a Manchester United fan. Find a lot of it really annoying. But if you're a Liverpool fan, this is the place to be. Uh, hosted by Craig Holden, I believe his name is. It's a must watch for any scouser. Craig and the team deliver match reactions, news updates and fan opinions with a blend of humour and genuine passion, whether celebrating a win or venting on a loss. We had two, three chances to clear it. Fuck off! Now it's 1-1. One, one. Fuck! How did we manage to do this again? The Anfield agenda captures the true spirit of Liverpool fandom. Next up is The Club, featuring some really good analysis and discussion from Adam McCullough, big fan, Rory Jennings, quite a good guy, and Boovy, sometimes a genius, sometimes a little bit special. That's not foul, oh, man. Varsenal. 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 No, don't. Boovy. Varsenal. Boovy, don't. No, it is. I'm doing it now. Varsenal. That's, that's How is that a foul? That's... Stop doing that, Boovy. Varsenal. You tried it with Liverpool last week. No, you Stop it. How has he found that funny? <laughs> Just sitting there like a complete lunatic. Arsenal! <laughs> This channel covers everything from the Premier League matches to transfer rumours, their in-depth discussions and debates. It makes this channel a fantastic channel for any football enthusiast irrelevant of the team you support if you're looking for a deeper dive into the beautiful game. For all the Manchester United supporters out there, you have the United stand. It should go too. Hosted by Mark Goldbridge. He's like Marmite. You either love him or you hate him. This channel provides an unfiltered reaction and analysis and a lot of fan interaction. No for his passionate and sometimes comedic antics. Burnley are a team I'd love to see get relegated. I'm sorry if there are any Burnley fans. Don't worry, there's not many. Oh, shit! They've bloody scored! I can't believe that! Not when I'm saying that! Not when I'm saying that! That better bloody be offside! How, how have I got caught saying that? Why was I saying that at that moment? A little bit of David Brent-esque. Goldbridge ensures that the United Sand is both informative and entertaining. Now, no list would be complete without AFTV, Arsenal Fan TV. The channel has pioneered the fan channel movement. Hosted by Robbie Lyle with its diverse cast of Arsenal supporters, AFTV captures the highs and lows of, of being a gooner. The channel provides a platform, express their views. About my who? About my what? I'm a black lion! Yeah. My fucking brother! We mustn't forget that it's been raining, so the pitch is quite... It's sp been raining? Yeah, it's Are raining. you being serious? It's raining for both teams! Yeah, Come on, Ty! It makes it a staple for any Arsenal follower. Then we have The Overlap, hosted by Gary Neville. Brings together some of the biggest names in football and brings all these fans together in one place. With in-depth conversations and interviews, the channel features a mix of current players, legends and pundits discussing the most pressing topics of the time. The Overlap stands out with its high high production and insightful content, making it a must watch. Roy, tell me, what could Manchester United have done differently to get a better result against them? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> you know, show a bit of character, a bit, bit of personality, do your job. <laughs> get out there, DC, it was a derby. <laughs> Last but certainly not least on this list is Five. Led by Rio Ferdinand himself, this channel combines expert analysis with a laid back vibe, covering everything from Premier League action to international tournaments. Ferdinand's insider perspective and charismatic personality makes Five a really engaging watch for football fans of all types. Whoa! Oh my God! Oh my God! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> about being Joel Bayer's yeah, after. That's yeah. all it is. You say about where Ian we are in the league. That. It's not about where we are in the league. It tastes nice, by the way. Yeah. Your time. Call me Joel. Just seen a grass. Yeah. 
I've just seen a graph. Are you filming? I've just seen a graph. What? I'm gonna see anything. What? What? Casemiro, party or Casemiro? Party. Who are you going for? I'm going for party. Man. Ah! <laughs> I don't read out the stats. Listen. And there you have it. The top six football channels recommended by me at least. But if you want a good laugh, go to Goldbridge. If you want some chilled vibes, go to Rio. And if you want high quality production, go to Gary Neville. I find myself watching the club a lot. Really, really chill. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And let me know what your favourite channel is. Keep loving the beautiful game. And I'll see you guys soon. We had two, three chances to clear it. Fuck off! Now it's 1-1. One, one. Fuck! How did we manage to do this again?